गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल टूडेज पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन इज मेथड्स ऑफ प्रिपरेशन ऑफ सेकेंडरी एंड टर्शरी अमीन्स नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेक ए लुक ऑन प्रिपरेशन ऑफ सेकेंडरी अमीन्स नाउ देर आर नंबर ऑफ मेथड्स और वेज टू प्रिपेयर सेकेंडरी अमीन्स लेट सी फ्यू वन बाय वन सो वेरी फर्स्ट मेथड इज द रिएक्शन ऑफ प्राइमरी अमीन्स with alkyl halides so primary amines are represented as rnh2 and alkyl halides are represented as rx so when alkyl halide and primary amines come in contact with each other then ultimately nucleophilic substitution takes place thereby departure of halo acid and leading to the formation of r2nh that is secondary amine but problem is amines being basic ultimately react with the halo acid liberated and that lead to the formation of dialkyl ammonium halide now we need to extract secondary amine starting from this ammonium salt so what we need to do the dialkyl ammonium halide so obtained is to be treated with alkali like NaOH when we do this then ultimately secondary amine get regenerated along with sodium halide and water thus in this way secondary amine can be produced starting from alkyl halide and primary amine this was very first method of preparation now secondly by reduction by reduction of alkyl isocyanides alkyl isocyanides and alkyl isocyanides are represented as r and c remember alkyl isocyanides are bad smelling substances these have very disagreeable order so when we reduce alkyl isocyanides using metallic hydride like lithium aluminum hydride followed by hydrolysis then we ultimately receive a secondary amine but point to be noted is the secondary amines so obtained contain methyl group for sure take a look so alkyl isocyanides can be represented as r and c when these alkyl isocyanides are reduced by lialh4 followed by acid hydrolysis then ultimately secondary amines having methyl group is obtained so only simple secondary amine which can be prepared by this method is dimethyl amine by reducing methyl isocyanide later mixed amines can be produced but remember no doubt that is mixed or simple but methyl group is compulsorily present in our secondary amine that is for sure now very importantly third method of preparation is the reaction of para nitroso dialkyl aniline with strong alkalis so what reaction of para nitroso dialkyl aniline with alkali i mean strong alkali solution now let's see how para nitroso dialkyl aniline can be produced first of all so take aniline now first of all this aniline is to be alkylated so aniline is to be treated with alkyl halide thereby replacement of hydrogen attached to the nitrogen takes place and hence departure of halo acid and alkyl group get attached and leading to the formation of dialkyl aniline so this is dialkyl aniline now we need to conduct nitrosolylation so i mean we need to introduce nitroso group so what for that we need to 
do we need to treat this with mixture of NaNO2 and HCl so NaNO2 react with HCl producing nitrous acid that is HNO2 and nitroso group attacks the para position of our aniline derivative that lead to the formation of this so this is para nitroso dialkyl aniline now this is our raw material so para nitroso dialkyl aniline is to be hydrolyzed by using strong alkali like NaOH so on hydrolysis of this so this is our raw material that is the para nitroso dialkyl aniline now upon alkaline hydrolysis under influence of alkali like NaOH what happens a secondary amine get regenerated like this and that lead to the formation of our secondary amine along with para nitrosophenol so this is para nitrosophenol and this is our target that is 2 degree amine in this way secondary amine can be produced starting from para nitroso dialkyl aniline again next method to be discussed i mean fourth method of preparation is hydrolysis of dialkyl cyanamide so hydrolysis of dialkyl cyanamide is the key method to prepare two degree amines i mean secondary amines so dialkyl cyanamide can be given as so this upon hydrolysis one can prefer to use acid or alkali for hydrolysis purpose either acidic or alkaline hydrolysis may convert this dialkyl cyanamide into cyanamide into two degree amine so net result will be secondary amines along with co2 and ns3 in this way secondary amines can be better produced then next method to prepare two degree amines is reduction of n substituted amides reduction of n substituted amides remember n substituted amides are popularly known as manish bases and uh, remember manish base can be produced remember manish base is our raw material right here so manish base is prepared by manish reaction so what we need to do we need to take ketones then formaldehyde and primary amine that is rnh2 when mixture of these three i mean ketones formaldehyde and primary amine is heated to get manish base which happens to be raw material right here so how this can be elaborated remember for example consider acetone which is very first member of the family that is ketone formaldehyde and primary amines which can be given as rnh2 when this mixture is heated strongly then that lead to the formation of ch3co ch2 ch2 nhr so this is manish base which in turn is n alkyl i mean n substituted amides what n substituted amide is exactly it is a product in which hydrogen attached to the nitrogen in amide is replaced by alkyl group so we need to reduce these materials either catalytically or 
it is better to use metallic hydrides for reduction processes so uh, for example n substituted amides can be given as this is n substituted amide and when this product i mean this n substituted amides are reduced by lialh4 followed by hydrolysis we may receive rch2 nhr that is 2 degree amine remember when we use metal hydride at no point uh, nascent hydrogens are involved but the hydride shifting or hydride transfer takes place so these are some of the methods of preparation of secondary amines now let's see how tertiary amines can be produced so there are few methods of preparation of 3 degree amines that is tertiary amines let's see one by one those methods of preparation so our point of discussion is now preparation of tertiary amines so very first method to prepare tertiary amines is reaction of alkyl halide that is rx with ammonia now in order to prepare tertiary amines we need to take excess alkyl halide and need to treat what with ammonia so when excess of alkyl halides are treated with ammonia then replacement of hydrogen in ammonia takes place and thereby departure of hx can be seen leading to the formation of tertiary amine but earlier we have discussed that the tertiary amines are basic and being basic respond to the halo acid so liberated and that lead to the formation of trialkyl ammonium halide that is ammonium salt now we need to extract tertiary amine starting from this ammonium salt by treating those salts with alkali like naoh so when we treat the trialkyl ammonium halides with alkali like naoh thereby liberation of tertiary amine takes place along with nax and water in this way 3 degree amines can be produced starting from alkyl halide and ammonia remember this is ammonolysis reaction now second method to prepare tertiary amine is by reduction of dialkylated amides so by reduction of n n dialkyl amides so n n dialkyl amides can be given as so this should be the representation what happen rco nh2 is general representation of amide so hydrogen atoms connected to the nitrogen when get replaced by two alkyl groups then the product so obtained is n n dialkyl amide and these amide substituted amides are needed to be reduced by using li al h4 followed by acidic hydrolysis by doing this we may receive our tertiary amine so this is 3 degree amine so obtained now third very important method to prepare tertiary amine is by decomposition by decomposition of tetra alkyl ammonium hydroxide tetra alkyl ammonium hydroxides are obtained by treating quaternary ammonium salt with moist silver oxide so what are quaternary ammonium salts those are represented by r4nx so when these quaternary ammonium salts are heated with moist silver oxide so remember silver oxide when dissolved in water ultimately it prefer to give silver hydroxide 
so there by substitution takes place and that lead to the formation of tetraalkyl ammonium hydroxide now when we heat strongly these tetraalkyl ammonium hydroxides then we may get tertiary amines now all depends upon the alkyl group present in the tetraalkyl ammonium hydroxide so if methyl group is there i mean if tetramethyl ammonium hydroxide is decomposed then we get trimethyl amine which happens to be tertiary amine along with methanol that is methyl alcohol but instead of methyl group if higher alkyl groups are present then um, alkenes and water also involved in the reaction product so uh, again take another example that is tetraethyl ammonium hydroxide so right here we have ethyl groups then when this tetraethyl ammonium hydroxide is heated that lead to the formation of tertiary amine that is triethyl amine along with ethylene and water in this way tertiary amines can also be produced so these are some of the methods of preparations of tertiary and secondary amines thank you very much